And I'm going to be, I plan on participating in the hearings which are going to be taking place May and June of 2012, again for the exemption, to keep the exemption we already have and to expand it. Um, the EFF and P Peter DeCherney are asking for uh, it to be, us to maintain the exemption and for it to be expanded to include students. And they're, they're also asking for it to be expanded to, to include additional media other than just CDs. So um, these hearings will take place in Los Angeles and in Washington, D.C. Um, I just I want to make the point that I think it's pretty obvious to a lot of us that the that public advocacy is is really important for us to be um, engaging in public advocacy and civic participation for a lot of reasons and, and we should be doing this in a lot of areas and many of us already are but um, for me it's been I think the primary reason is that while I hope it's benefited others it's always it's also been a really great professional experience for me and a wonderful learning experience um, it's informed my teaching and it reminded me of how of the role of writing and of civic participation how these these um, kind of activities can actually make things change and this kind of gives me inspiration for what I'm doing like in the first year writing classroom because I know that it's possible to change things because I've actually participated with others and have been able to change something really important on the national level and this is a story I can share with my students. And the other reason that um, I think that public advocacy is important even even for writing teachers is um, well, it just brings me back to the whole idea of how to make a claim and support it with evidence, which is what I'm always telling my students that they need to do. And in order to do that, it reminds me of all the things that you need to study. You need to study your audience, and you need to know the history of the conversation, and you need to be able to see a little bit into the future. And it's a, it's a complicated activity to go into a different kind of uh, forum than what I'm used to on a daily basis, and to be able to uh, act properly and say something that might be effective. And so um, it's, it's a continual learning experience for me. The one comment I do want to make, though, is that um, I've come to realize that, that I think it's obvious if you think about it, but there is a certain danger in being visible this way. So I think there's good, there's good things and bad things. Um, it's wonderful to be acknowledged for um, something that you've done in a public forum, but at the same time, it can be dangerous because you are more visible. So it's good to be visible, but you have to decide yourself how visible you want to be. Um, I, I don't at this time want to be the Michael Moore of rhetoric and composition. Uh, it's tempting, but then you have a whole set of issues that you have to deal with. So that's the, that's the main thing I'm navigating right now. Um, and so I, I know that this subject has probably been considered by many others, but uh, I can see a benefit to to supporting others moving forward too, as well as being in the public limelight yourself. So you just have to think about what's best for you.